Greetings, YouTube. Um, there's a lawmaker in Iowa that would like to require you to register your sexual orientation to get a marriage license. Yeah. Um, so certainly, so apparently, Iowa Bill Senate File 2130 proposes just that. Applicants for a marriage license would have to specify whether they are bisexual, heterosexual, homosexual, questioning, or unsure. There's also a blank to fill in for anyone who identifies outside of that listed option. No answer, no license. Uh, but prospective spouses who gave the wrong answer for any reason, maybe they thought they had successfully prayed away the gay, or they were unaware of the aspect of their sexuality, or afraid to admit the truth in front of family members, could have their mistake used against them in future divorce proceedings. Uh, they could be held automatically liable for dissolutions of the marriage, and it would be used to pr uh, prove them unfit to care for their own children. All right, now here's a, here's a quote. Under the proposal, fraudulent concealment of sexual orientation, that's, that's that actual phrase, is likened to domestic abuse. Lying uh, about your sexuality as determined by the state would be considered as key factor in custody proceedings when a marriage is dissolved. The Senate bill would put sexual orientation fraud, not marital infidelity, on the same level as abuse. Even leaving a child unsupervised with a sex offender or jeopardizing a child's safety um, are not weighed as heavily. Now, the reason this was put forward by Dennis Guth, G-U-T-H, um, shockingly, a Republican, uh, said he drafted the proposal after hearing the story of one of his constituents whose marriage fell apart because her husband turned out to be gay. Now, here is the important quote, I think, in this story. Um, some years ago, I remember reading about a Christian activist whose primary shtick was telling everyone that gayness breaks up families. As an illustration of gayness breaking up families, she said that her husband divorced her and left her and the kid to go off and live the homosexual lifestyle. She told people that story was constant, con told constantly. It baffles me that she couldn't see that she was a victim not of her, her ex husband's gayness, but of an anti-gay culture that encouraged her ex to marry a straight woman on the promise that it would allow him to escape his homosexuality. When I read about Guth's bill, my thoughts went uh, to the same direction. If you don't want men divorcing their wives to go be gay, or women divorcing their husbands, maybe uh, stop telling uh, gay men to enter straight marriages uh, post haste to fix their gayness. In fact, I'll go further than that and maybe stop telling people not to be gay. Gay men would not marry straight women in the first place. They lived in a culture that accepted homosexuality and same-sex relationships as normal and okay. Bingo! That's the point. If we had a system, our, our culture said that whatever your sexual orientation, as long as the consenting people involved are not hurting each other, Go for it. If we had that kind of a culture, then no one would ever enter a marriage under the guise of hiding their sexuality. But we don't. We live in a culture in America where people can lose their entire families by coming out of the closet. And in some cases, they're going to be putting their lives at risk. It's safer here in America in that regard, but not much. If you come out of the closet in America... It's dangerous. And this law is going to make it worse. Of course, you could just get your license and everyone could say, or they could, you could both parties could just say, we're polysexuals. And then there's nothing they could do. But what if you don't want to do that? What if you don't want to play the system? I'm straight. And I got no problem admitting I'm straight. And it shouldn't matter what the sexuality is of any person I marry if we are in love and want to get married. That shouldn't play a part. And the state, sure as shit, doesn't need to know that. Hell, I'd go so far as to take gender off marriage licenses completely. I'd like to see gender taken out of most things in, in, in American culture and the world at large. You don't need to know what your gender is to do a job. Just do the goddamn job. It shouldn't be on applications. It shouldn't be on anything that isn't absolutely necessary for someone to have know to know that gender isn't in our genes folks gender is in our cultures and our sexual orientation is your business and nobody else's
and the state sure as shit doesn't need to know. And it shouldn't be used, used against you as a weapon to ruin your life or take your children away. I can't help but shake, shake the feeling that this guy got burned because he fell for a woman that turned out to be gay. And this is his revenge. He may be using someone else as an example, but you don't get to this point in this very particular type of a law without some personal experience, I don't think. So yeah, what a shock. There's a GOP bigot in Iowa. Who would have thought? 